Because let me tell you about some Christian hypocrisy. Because I've been called a hypocrite by many people. I don't think they understand what the word hypocrite means. But let me tell you about some Christian hypocrisy. The hypocrisy of Christianity in this instance would be that if he had made it over the hurdle, if he had jumped the hurdle, made it cleanly, everybody would be clapping and, oh, yes, he got the power of the Holy Spirit and see what God can do. God can, if God can make you get over that hurdle, God can make you get over any hurdle that is ever presented in your life. That's right, because pastor showed us that you can do it. But the fact that he failed, many people came into the comments of that video and they were saying that, oh, see, that's why you're not supposed to tempt with God, tempt God. You're not supposed to play with God. That man didn't have the Holy Spirit. He up there tempting God and playing with God. And that's why he failed because God don't like people to be tempting him. And he out of line and out of order and so on and so on and so on. You see, if he attempted it and it worked, he got the power of God. But he didn't. He don't. So Christians will make it fit whatever mode that they desire for it to fit based on what happened and not just look at it as his inability to jump over that hurdle because he doesn't understand how hurdling works. You see, in high school and in the military, I ran the 110 hurdles and the 400 meter hurdle, the 100 meter hurdle and the 400 meter hurdle. We had switched back then. And one thing I can tell you, there is a reason why it's called running the hurdles and not walk up and jump the hurdle. <laughs> Not even the way he did it. In the 1930s, when they in the Olympics, I think it was the 36 Olympics may have been the last time that it happened, or maybe the 1940s Olympics. Um, at that time frame, hurdlers used to just run up, but they were running, get to the hurdle, jump over it with two feet, but they were running before they jumped. So they got a little bit of momentum to carry them over the hurdle, but that was the way they did it. And it was much later when I forgot who it was. I used to know this because I was a hurdler began to run hurdles and he would run in stride and go over the hurdles and that changed how hurdles were ran uh, up until this day this is why hurdles also began to have that little bend in it uh, to make them be able to fall when the person knee hits the hurdle this man just lazily walks up and thinks he's going to jump over this hurdle that doesn't work you're not a world class athlete you're not even a high school athlete. So therefore, you're not able to jump over this hurdle like you think. You don't have that 41 inch vertical, my guy. So this is just human error, human inability to understand how the mechanics of hurdles work. So therefore, he just thought, I'm gonna bring this hurdle out, I'm gonna jump over this hurdle, it's gonna be a great message about God can get you over all your hurdles. And it didn't work, not because of your God, it didn't work because you just didn't know what the hell you was doing. But like I said, the hypocrisy of Christianity, Christians is that they're going to make it work however they choose and want and desire for it to work while still maintaining their belief in this God by Monday morning quarterbacking or Monday morning hurdling this situation. Now, people like to come on to my page and I've had a rash of it lately where they're calling me, you hypocrite, you hypocrite, you hypocrite. I cannot be a hypocrite in the things that I talk about Christianity if I'm not called saying that I am a Christian in order for me to be a hypocrite in Christianity I have to be hypocritical while still maintaining the belief in Christianity but going against whatever your scripture says or your doctrine or dogma says now in your Bible when it when Jesus called the people oh you hypocrites he was talking about the Jewish Pharisees and Sadducees who were supposed to be leading the people in the word of God the ways of God but yet behind closed doors or taking bribes from the Romans, uh, gaining more power, lying to the people, keeping information to themselves, that sort of thing. They were in the belief, teaching one thing, doing another thing. I am not in your belief. So therefore, I am not a hypocrite to your beliefs. So learn what the hell the word hypocrite means before you try to tag me with it. Because evidently, you don't know what the word means. Now, for some of the guys who were saying that, and you from another country, I'm going to give you a slight pass. Because maybe you just don't understand the word, and you just heard it being used over and over again. And you think you know what it means, but you don't. But for all those Christians who were saying that he tempting God and playing with God, and you don't play with God, y'all hypocrites. So you have a great day. And remember always, you have to free yourself to be yourself. Because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibrations.